Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So the phone that you see in front of you is actually an Android phone, but it looks like Windows 11. So it's really easy to do this and I will show you how to switch your Android phone from looking like a normal Android phone to a Windows 11 platform. So I'll show you everything you need to know. I'll show you every step you need to know. All you need to do is watch this video. And as you can see, all the features of Windows 11 starting from stock applications of Windows and stock applications of Android both installed on it. So as you can see, everything is working completely fine without any glitches or lags. You can move around with the tweaks and icons and of the Windows 11. And I'll show you in today's video how to switch your Android phone to a Windows 11. So with that being said, let me show you that I can actually switch to landscape and have the features of the Windows 11 work completely normally on my Android phone. So as you can see, the, uh, the phone actually uh, switches to landscape and you can have the feel of a Windows platform and have a feel of Windows icons on your Android. So as you can see, everything is working completely fine. There's no issues whatsoever. This process is completely free. There's no paid applications or paid tweaks to do this. Everything is working completely fine. And in today's tutorial, you will know how to make this feel on your Android. So guys, without being said, let's move to the tutorial. But we, before we head into the installation process, I kindly wanted to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. If you comment on this video as well, your comment will be shown in the next video. So go ahead and comment and don't forget to subscribe. So that being said, let's move to the installation phase of this application and I'll show you what you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is obviously download an application called Computer Launcher 2. Now the link for this application is going to be in the description box. You can go ahead and download it from there or you can just search for it on the Play Store by searching for Computer Launcher 2. Now download the application and wait for the application to start installing and then I'll show you what you need to do. So we're waiting for the application to finish installing. Now the application is installed. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. It will launch the Windows 11 launcher for me. Now this is very easy to do. After launching the application, it will go ahead and switch from your Android launcher to the Windows 11. You need to enable Blur by giving it permission of access. So go ahead and do that and then you'll have your Android phone looking like an Windows 11 laptop or tablet with a few touches or with a few taps. Make sure to set it as your default launcher. So by going and clicking on that, you will have the default launcher changed to Windows 11. Now don't worry about this. I'll show you how to uninstall this Windows 11 look on your Android phone if you don't like it. So just go ahead and stick till the end of the video. And by the way, give it access of permission to have the Windows 11 look and feel and also launcher work completely normally on your Android phone. So let's go ahead and give it permission. After you give that permission to have the Windows 11 look work on your phone, I'll go ahead and show you the features of this Windows 11 uh, launcher. Now all the tasks, tweaks and uh, options will work normally. So as you can see, I have the option to choose uh, or to turn on the flashlight, to turn on my Bluetooth, to turn on my uh, Wi-Fi, just like you normally do on your Windows laptop or on your Windows uh, you know, desktop. So as you can see, everything is working completely fine. Now keep in mind that this is still in the early phases of the application. Now updates might come out and it will make the process look easier and feel more simplistic to use. So if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and it will mean a lot to me if you also like the video as well. So you can also tick around with the uh, settings of the launcher by uh, creating folders, by creating icons to have it shown on your desktop just like you normally do on your Windows platform. So I just uh, went ahead and created a folder. I can drag icons into that folder and launch the applications from within that folder. You can also lock your folders with a passcode. So by the way, you can uh, remove or uninstall applications that you feel like are taking space from your desktop just by holding uninstall on the application that you feel like it. And you can also change the wallpaper of your launcher to have it uh, you know suitable to the uh, like or to the preferences that you want so there's a lot of settings within this launcher i'm not going to go through all of them because if i go ahead and do that it will probably take around 20 minutes 
just for me to finish the video. You can change the size of the icons on your desktop, you can change the color of it, you can change the structure of it, or you can have it sort by item. So you can have the launcher automatically set what applications you run first to have it be on your desktop. You can move ahead and play around with the icon structures like I mentioned before. And by, uh, be, keep, please keep in mind some of the features might need access, so just give it access. It will only be a first time thing. It's not going to ask you every time you do that. It will just ask you for the first time. So I'm just going to uh, allow my uh, folders or my tasks uh, go through the... You know, so for example, if you're running on Windows, you have the option to go to my computer. You have the same option here. It's going to be called my files you can go ahead and open files create uh, files you can copy files from your android phone with the look of windows 11. so to keep it short uh, the features that this uh, launcher provide you is having your windows 11 icons having your windows 11 wallpaper having most of windows 11 features and having the feel and look of a windows 11. so uh, if you have questions on what functionalities uh, you want to add just make sure to comment below I'll probably respond to all of my uh, comments on this video so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove this application as well in case you want to remove this look or feel from your Android phone and have it go back to your normal Android look now the process for that is really easy uh, meanwhile I'm showing you uh, the file or the task manager of your Android phone now usually you don't have access to all these files on your normal Android phone but on this launcher you have access to pretty much everything that you need to do. So for those people who want to uninstall this look or have your phone go back to your normal look I'll go ahead and show you what you need to do. Now you need to go back to your home screen and from your home screen all you need to do is touch your um, menu or your start menu so you know windows phones or windows tablets have a start menu just go ahead and uh, tap on that it's usually the uh, icon on the left corner of your home screen so if i go ahead and click on the uh, start menu it will show me a list of applications now what i need to do is search for computer launcher and just hold that and then click on uninstall and once you do that it will go back to normal so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and comment below if you have questions and uh, like the video if the video was helpful and also don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time